On a slim duck three joint multi, you'll notice that there's a, three banks of four dip switches. Today we're gonna be discussing the first four. The number one dip switch is for enabling an external temperature sensor. The factory default is all in the on position. So to enable them, you would turn them off. The number two dip switch is for central control. So if you were tying this into an upper level management system, such as a BACnet gateway, Longworks, DMS, or even our Wi-Fi. The number three dip switch is for the fan compensate. So it's to increase the fan speed. You can do that by simply pressing that dip switch down or changing the product options. Today we're going to be talking about the number four dip switch. That is to enable a, a factory condensate pump. The Slim Duck unit does not come with a condensate pump, so if you install one, you need to tell the unit that it's using a condensate pump. To do this, the power must be turned off. Simply put the number four dip switch in the down position, and then when you power the unit back up, anytime the system is running and cooling, the condensate pump will run. So after enabling the condensate pump, you just want to make sure that you have the power for the condensate pump plugged in. It'll be the yellow plug with two wires. And you also want to make sure you have the condensate float switch, your safety, plugged in. It's going to be the black plug labeled CN411, and that's going to be for your float switch. Then you're safe to power the system back up. For service manuals and other documentation, please visit our website at samsunghvac.com or use our Samsung HVAC mobile app to download any technical documentation. Thank you.